What's up guys? In this video we'll be going over the patch I made for my cover of Bulletproof by Godsmack using 3 Sigma Audio's High Gain Essentials Pack for the Line 6 Helix. Let's check it out. Okay, so I started with the Cali High Gain um, preset from the High Gain Essentials and uh, as you may have guessed it starts with the rectifier and uh, the IR is the ACE HG 412-1B. This is a great starting point, but I needed more DSP uh, in the overall patch because I needed two amps, uh, one the main rectifier and then the second a sort of clean amp for the uh, section right before the last solo. So I'm gonna pull up the patch that I made. It's very similar. Um, I just moved the impulse response block from the top chain to the bottom to get more DSP in the top and I added um, a US small tweed uh, in addition to the rectifier and I switched between those for the section right before the last chorus. Instead of the volume block, I put a flanger just for the intro and as well for the intro, I have a low high cut with only using the low cut parameters. For the solo, I'll have the delay and the reverb block as well, um, but I'll, sh I'll, go sh I'll go through that. So I set this song up with four main presets. The intro is the same as the main rhythm uh, with the flanger and the high and low cut uh, effects on. This is the main rhythm snapshot. As you can tell, there's a decent amount of mids in here, which really helps kind of cut through. Um, this is also the graphic EQ after the impulse response. Um, again, the high and low pass, or sorry, the high and low cut are off, um, as well as the flanger for the main rhythm tone. For the lead snapshot, nothing changes for the amp. Uh, I don't keep, I don't adjust the gain or anything like that. I just add the delay and reverb. And these are just stock settings for the dual delay and the plate. I didn't really adjust anything. It sounded really, really good as it was, so I didn't really have to make any changes. And for the clean section, the rectifier turns off, the small tweed turns on, the reverb and the delay stay on, and even the overdrive stays on for a little bit of added grit. And that's it, it's a very, very simple patch. Um, I have a fifth snapshot just for a little bit more bass. The tone for snapshot two, the main rhythm sound, is mainly for recording. Uh, if I was playing live, I would switch to snapshot five, which is just a little bit more bass. Everything else is exactly the same. So let's check out what these snapshots sound like without the backing track. I'm running two tracks, one left, one right, both with the same settings. So let's check out the tone for snapshot one, which is the intro. All right, and now let's check out the main rhythm tone. And here's uh, snapshot three, which is the verse leads. And the solo is the same, snapshot three. Let's check it out. And now we'll go back to uh, Snapshot 2 for the last chorus. And one last thing before I forget, let's go to the clean patch, snapshot four. And that about does it, guys. Everything you heard was from the Helix and Three Sigma Audio's High Gain Essentials Pack, which you can find on their website. Check out threesigmaaudio.com 
They have a Helix collection page of six different packs and presets and impulse responses that they've made for the presets. This was the High Gain Essentials pack. They also have a Modern Essentials pack, which I look to be demoing soon. Until the next time, guys, have a good one.